In this video, you're going to learn some quick tips to help you better manage time on GED Math. First, you should note that GED Math is about 115 minutes long and has about 46 questions. And I say about here because different versions of the test may vary a little bit, but typically you're going to get 115 minutes for 46 questions. Now, that would come out to about 2.5 minutes per each question. So as you're going through the test, you might want to look at that time. As it's ticking down, just remind yourself that you have about two and a half minutes per each question. Now, at any time, time depending on your own situation while you're testing, you can always divide the number of minutes that you have left by the number of questions, and that's gonna tell you at any given time about how many minutes you can spend on each question. So let me show you what I mean. Let's say your scenario on your test is you've got 36 questions left, about 95 minutes to go, and you're not sure about how much time you should spend on each question. Well, in this case, you would take 95 and divide by 36 in your calculator. That would tell you that you have about 2.64 minutes per question. Now, I would probably round that down to 2.5 so I would tell myself okay I've got about 2.64 minutes per question why don't I budget my time to come out to about 2.5 minutes per question that might give you just a little tiny buffer but everything you can do to help yourself is gonna matter what you don't want to do is round that up because if you round that up to three minutes per question you're probably gonna end up running out of time all right a good general rule of thumb is not to, is to try not to spend too much time on any question at least not the first time you see them you can use the mark feature on your test to mark harder questions and then you can circle back to them later on. You never want to leave anything blank. It's always better to guess than to leave something blank. If you didn't study a topic, I recommend not spending too much time on it, at least not right away. Like for example, let's say that you've never done anything with triangles during your studying and you have a question on that. It might be better to just guess and then mark that question and move on and answer all the questions on topics that you have studied. And then at the end, if you have time, of course, go back and try to figure it out but you don't wanna let something like that suck up a lot of time on the test. And as I was saying, once you've secured as many points as you can on the easier questions and the ones that you think you can figure out, by all means, go back and take your time, take a stab at those harder questions or even questions on topics you didn't study with whatever time remains. So hopefully this helps you out here. I know that GED math causes a lot of stress for a lot of people. And so hopefully just having some ideas about how to handle that time will give you a little edge when you go in to take your test. Good luck. I really appreciate you watching this video.